Talk Show. I'm your host today, Minister Love, representing Black Who Ministries. That is Busy Ladies Achieving Christ Knowledge, Understanding, and Wisdom. And I'm here once again with my fellow uh, business ministry partner and Bible student and friend, Sister Sandra. Sandra, tell the audience who you're representing with us today. Hi, I represent Source Outreach Ministries, and welcome today to our next Bible study. And Sandy, tell them what we're gonna, what kind of heart. Now, remember, audience, we're talking about what kind of heart do I have. So you notice I'm pointing the fingers at myself. So. I can't look at anyone else. I have to see what kind of heart I have. So, Sandy, tell uh, our brothers and sisters what kind of heart do I have today? What are we gonna be talking about? Today, we're gonna be diagnosing our heart. Is Ooh. is it a perfect heart? Ooh, are we I in like the it. perfect heart mode? Yeah. Have we achieved that. Yet? Mm, I like it. I like it. You know, I like how you said uh, 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 we're gonna um, do like a surgery hey. or something like to the uh, to the study. <laughs> I feel like Dr. Love today. Yeah. We're doing surgery today. Right. Oh, diagnosis. Yeah, yes. like, that's the word. Diagnosis. Yes, yes, yes. And so we're, we're giving you about your heart today. Is it perfect? So Sandy, share with us, how would you describe or define, what is that word perfect? What is that? Perfect. Okay. From what I found in my notes, okay. it says a perfect heart makes a perfect man or woman. And I'll give you a couple examples. Okay. Noah was a righteous man and a mm. perfect in his generation. Okay. And Noah walked with God. Oh, ooh, okay? yes. Okay, because he was chosen to, mm -hmm. to build the ark. Mm -hmm. And then we have the heart of David was perfect with the Lord, his God. Then we have, oh, yeah. uh, and the Lord said to Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, mm -hmm. that there is none like in the earth, a perfect and upright man, mm -hmm. one that feareth God, and else, else he with evil. He doesn't deal with evil at all. There is no evil in his bones. Mm -hmm. So these are a couple examples that are coming straight out of the Bible for us. Wow. So we're, this is what we're trying to achieve yes. in our yes. lifetime, to mm -hmm. walk like these did. Like these did. So, so, so I like what you did. You brought out Noah. You talked about David. And these men had what? A perfect heart. Mm -hmm. How did they get that perfect heart? It's who you're associating with. Correct. Who were they with? God, because God. God is the only one that has a perfect heart. Yeah, yeah. And if we're going to diagnose ourselves, like you said earlier, then we need to see what kind of heart do we have. Now, in addition to what you found out about perfect, what I found out too with that word perfect, when you think of it in a biblical sense, uh, with the Hebrews and the Jews, they saw a perfect heart with someone that was quiet. That's interesting, isn't it? When, when your spirit is quiet, your heart is at what? Rest. Right. So you're in a perfect state when you're at rest with your heart. I also found out that it represents innocence. It represents someone, like you said, with Noah uh, and uh, David, they, they walk what? Upright. Mm -hmm. Upright. They, they, they wanted to get closer to God because David was the one that was after God's what? Own heart. Right. Why? Why do we chase after God? Why do we want to go after God? Because we want what kind of heart? Perfect. We want a perfect heart. heart. We want to, and, and, and also that word perfect means to be whole, right. to be uh, everything to be in alignment, right. to be justified. That is a perfect heart. So when people walk around, to, you know, thinking that I'm perfect, it's not that you you have done nothing wrong or is that you're just a, a little angel. That's not what perfect means. Mm -mm. It means that your heart is at rest. Yes. So let's take a look. Let's take a look and see who else in addition to David and Noah that walk with God. Let's see who else uh, is uh, evaluating their heart. Let's take a look. Uh, so Sister Sandy read for us. We're going to go to 2 Kings mm -hmm. and we're going to take a look at chapter 20. Verse 3. Okay. All right. I'm going to say that again for the audience. Mm -hmm. Go with us to 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 3. And let's see what kind of heart do I have. Okay, Sandy, read All that right. verse, please. I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept 
sore. Ooh, did you hear that? Wow. So here is here is this man named what? What's his name? Hezekiah. Hezekiah. Hezekiah was a king. king. He was a king. And Hezekiah, how did how did he uh he was talking to the Lord mm -hmm. and he was telling Lord, hey, hey, Lord, remember me. Remember how I walked. Did you see what he said? He said, What? I have what? Walk mm -hmm. before thee in what? Truth. Truth. Are y'all seeing this? So Hezekiah was a king who thought he was doing everything good for the Lord. But one day, Sandy, the prophet Elijah came to Hezekiah and said, Hezekiah, get your house in order. You're about to die. Hezekiah like, what? That's that trembling heart. He like, he gets scared. He butt probably trembling now too <laughs> from the last lesson. So, right. he's, so his heart now... It has been affected because he's getting the news that God said, get your house in order because I'm about to kill you, Hezekiah. Wow. wow. Hezekiah like, like, wait, what? So he goes into a prayer mode before the Lord. Look what he says. I beseech who? Thee, O Lord. He says, remember how I walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart? So Hezekiah is saying here, not that I was perfect in everything I did in the sense that man think perfect. He said, but Lord, what, what I did do for you, I did it with all I had. Mm -hmm. I did it with a whole heart. I did it in my innocence. You know, what I was doing, I thought I was doing the best I could. Right. So he pleaded before God, before the Lord, and because he, he recognized he has a perfect heart, doesn't he? Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Do, do you know what happened with Hezekiah? What, what do you think the Lord did for Hezekiah? I think he gave him a longer time. Sure to he did. It. Yes, he and, did. And, and when he says that, he wept sore. Have you ever mm. cried where you hurt? Ooh, that's you know, a good one. When, when, when you lose a loved one mm -hmm. and you cry into your insides, yes. you hurt. Mm -hmm. Your heart hurts, your yeah. stomach hurts, your throat hurts, your body aches. Mm -hmm. And this is what he did because he wasn't ready to go. He, he wanted went. to stay. Mm -hmm. And God blessed him. Yes, he did. Yeah, he blessed Matter him. of fact, he gave King Hezekiah 15 extra, extra years. years. Why did God do that? Because of his heart. Yeah. He got, see, not not only do we need to look at our heart, but we got to understand God is always looking at our heart. Right. Always. He knows if it's broken, if it's crushed, if it's uh, perfect, if it's uh, trembling. He knows. That's right. He knows. So whatever your heart is, whatever you see your situation is, go to the Lord, just right. like right. Hezekiah did. Right. And not only did Hezekiah uh, recognize Sister Sandy and audience that he had this perfect heart, but he only had it because he was walking in what? What did he say? Truth. truth. And what is the truth, Sandy? What is the truth that we have? It's our what? The Bible. It's the Bible, people. Yeah. This is the truth. This will set you free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the truth. Mm -hmm. And this is what Hezekiah was using. This right. is what he was going That's with. Right. So, if you ask yourself the questions, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. what kind of heart do I have? You're not being arrogant if you say perfect. Mm -hmm. Now that we know what it means, it means to be whole. It means to be quiet. It means to be at rest. It's all right. I can't say I'm a perfect individual right now. I got a perfect heart because mm -hmm. I'm quiet. Things are arrested in my spirit now. You right, see what I'm saying? Right. You have joy. I got joy peace. now. You have love because you're in the word all the exactly. time. Exactly. And you have God beside you. Yes. He's always beside you. Yes. He gets you through all the situations that you must pass through. Mm -hmm. All the tremblings, the, the sorrows, the disappointments. Broken, yes. But you can always say, God, be with me. Be with me so that I can get through this. Mm -hmm. This world situation, I can get through it because you have him. You got and, him. And that's how we get through life. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't have something to believe in, Ooh. to trust in, it's really difficult in life. That's why people take their self out. That's why mm -hmm. people go into drugs. That's why people go into alcohol. Mm -hmm. And so when you start reading this, this is your crutch. Yes. You don't need those worldly things anymore mm -hmm. because you have salvation. You have yes. surrendered to God Ooh. and you have given him your life. Ooh, sound and like you then, got sound like you got a perfect heart. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I way amen. way better. Amen. Yes, yes, amen. Amen. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So hey, like we said, it's not being arrogant. You're not being uh, uh boastful in anything, but you can have a perfect heart. Right. Hey, listen, I'm Minister Love with the Sister Sandy. Join us again next week right here on the Bible Talk Show. God bless you, and we'll talk to, talk to you next week. Goodbye. Bye.